This educational video is intended to help children build their vocabulary for the purpose of their general knowledge, as well as to improve their scores on state and other standardized exams. Please pause the video to read the purpose, scope, and warnings related to this video. This video has a free student engagement worksheet that can also be used as a quiz. It's available in many formats. Please see the link in the description to download this. In this video, we'll learn the definition of these words. We'll do that by focusing on the meaning of the word parts, which make up each word. The word part con means together or with. It's similar to the prefix co, which we learned about in part 19. The word concur is made of two word parts. The first word part is con, which in this case means together. The second word part is cur, which means running. The word concur is a fancy way of saying agree. If someone concurs with what you've said, then she or he is agreeing with you. It may seem strange that putting the word part together and the word part running would mean agree. One way to think of this is imagine some friends running together. Since they're all going the same direction, that means all of them agree with each other about which way to go. The word concurrent is also made of the two word parts con and cur. Just like the word concur, this word literally means running together. We use this word when we want to say that two or more things are happening at the same time. For example, this washing machine and dryer are both running at the same time. So we can say these machines are doing the laundry concurrently. These friends are singing and dancing concurrently. These friends are singing, dancing, and cooking concurrently. The word conform is made of two word parts. The first word part is con, which in this case means with. The second word part is form, which means a shape. To say that people conform to something means they all have the same appearance or behavior in some way. It's as though there's one shape, appearance, or behavior that everyone copies. These students are all wearing a school uniform. They appear similar because they're conforming to the same dress code. These people are conforming to the rules of soccer. So they move the ball by kicking it. These people are conforming to the rules of volleyball. So they move the ball by hitting it with their hands or arms. The word conform usually means a behavior, which means people are following rules. Those rules may affect what they wear and how they behave. The word context is made of two word parts. The first word part is con, which in this case means with. The second word part is text, which means to weave. The most common use of the word context in school is in this phrase, figure out the meaning or pronunciation of a word based on its context. That means to figure out the meaning or pronunciation of a word by looking at the other words in the sentence. Here's an example. Would you pronounce this word as read or as read? The correct pronunciation depends on what other words are in the sentence. Here's a sentence in which we pronounce it as read. The teacher asks the students what book they would like him to read. In this sentence, it's pronounced as read. The student read the history lesson. It may seem strange that the word context has a word part that means weave, especially since we usually use the word context when referring to other words. Here's a possible explanation. The word yarn often refers to a material we use to make clothes. Kittens also love to play with a ball of yarn. But the word yarn can also be used in the phrase spinning a yarn. That means someone is making up a story, such as telling a science fiction story. Likewise, we can use the word thread to refer to the material we use to sew our clothes together or to make very large pieces of fabric. But we also use the word thread to refer to someone's email, along with all the email responses that one or more people wrote back. An email thread is like a written conversation. These examples show us that we use some words to refer to both cloth and to words. The word textile is a general word that refers to cloth and contains the word text. Likewise, the word text can mean words, such as when used in the word textbook. A textbook is made of mostly words and has relatively few pictures. We use a textbook when learning about a subject in school. The word convene is made of two word parts. The first word part is con, which in this case means together. The second word part is veen, which means to come. This word means to come together. We often use this word when we're talking about bringing people together for a meeting or a conference. Here are some examples. These scientists convene to discuss a new discovery about stars. The school board will not convene during the summer, but will resume normal meetings when school starts next month. 
The term conveyor belt is made of two separate words, conveyor and belt. The word conveyor is made of two word parts. The first word part is con, which in this case means together. The second word part is ve, which means to move. You've probably seen conveyor belts at an airport. They are used to move luggage from a plane to the place where people pick it up. All the bags, suitcases, and other objects move together. Conveyor belts are very common in factories, especially for moving things to a higher level. Some conveyor belts are used to move people, like this one at a ski resort. We can think of conveyor belts as things that transport objects or people using a wide belt. The word convey is similar to the word conveyor. Both of these words contain the same word parts. The word convey means to communicate. There are two common settings when we use the word convey. The first setting is what we say or do. This mother is conveying her love for her son by hugging him and telling him that she loves him. These children are conveying their happy Mother's Day wishes with signs and telling her. These dogs are conveying their happiness by wagging their tails. The second way we convey something is by using communication technology. Here's an example sentence. This video conveys what life was like in San Francisco in 1906. It shows what the city looked like and how people dressed. It also shows common methods of transportation, such as cars, streetcars, and horse-draw carriages. The words convey and conveyor belt may seem very different, yet they both have the same word parts. Here's one way to see how they're similar. Both mean to transport. A conveyor belt transports objects or people from one place to another. When we communicate, it's like we are transporting our thoughts from one person to another, at least in the sense that we're sharing our thoughts. Thanks for your attention.